Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, Sunday. Good morning. It's a Saturday morning for me here. Um, I've just had my breakfast. You just saw me wake up, brush my teeth, had my coffee, and I'm ready for the day, which is great. Um, I thought I'd bring you along today if you're interested. If you want to join in, please hop on the ride. I try to pick as many fun and interesting but also like self-soothing things into my weekend as possible. And that's 100% true. Like my friends and my partner would definitely vouch for it because as you know I love sewing maybe you don't know but I do love sewing and that's something that I try to do I can do this like throughout the whole day both weekends honestly it's just so therapeutic for me I love sewing I love going through that process of putting something together and then getting a final result that I get to wear as well it's super sustainable um, and yeah just do something for myself and these are the types of activities that I like to do on my weekend and I like um, window shopping a lot before I commit to a decision. So I have to go like two or three times and try things on and uh, contemplate on it and take photos and then come back home and then maybe come back and actually purchase the thing. I'm really trying to take it seriously. Yeah, so I don't get to do that during the week and the weekend is my only opportunity to go and do that, go back to all those shops that are only open during the day. So. Um, I'm gonna try and do that. Um, I also have a few sort of things on my to-do list um, but otherwise also it's it's great weather today so I'm again an, the weekend is an opportunity for me to get out in the fresh air and hopefully get that some clear and fresh air into my lungs and go for a wee walk. I'm not super athletic person although I used to be growing up. I don't know what happened I'm, but I'm not really craving for it that much. I'm probably gonna regret it later but yeah, just, just like a brisk walk on a, on a lovely day like today would count as an exercise for me, so that's good. Um, but yeah, it's time to get myself sorted. Um, again, I'm not going to go like above and beyond full face of makeup or anything. Um, I've, I've grown to realize that it's all about comfort and confidence. If you feel comfortable and confident in what you're wearing and how you look, um, this is just the best way to set yourself up for a good day. So let's do that, although I really do not want to depart from my lovely robe, soft and warm, but it's pretty warm outside. We're getting into summer weather, so which is good. So uh, let's go get dressed, maybe brush your hair or something, get a glass of water and get in the road. Okay, we're all dressed up and ready to go and somewhat looking decent. Um, the list that I was talking about for today. So, number one is to get Christmas cards. We're all in the Christmas spirit that's awfully fast approaching. Um, so I want to get Christmas cards for some of the obviously local friends and colleagues. But also, uh, it's a tradition to biscuit. Um, excuse the cat who is going a little loco here. Um, it's a tradition for me to send Christmas cards to my closest friends back in the motherland. So I think I'm going to continue with that. If you are a friend who receives a card every single year, you know that another one's coming for you this year as well. Um, and then I needed to look for new frames for my glasses. I'm trying to look for my current ones. So I have these. And these are just the glasses that I've been wearing for the last like three years or so. But there's nothing wrong with them. Um, and this is just a totally first world problem, honestly. But like the frames just don't sit on my nose. They sit on my cheeks. And I don't know why I went for them in the first place. Like I like the frame and, and they look good on me. But I thought I'll just get something, the frame a little bit lighter. Because it's kind of, I don't know, it's a bit dark on my face, I thought. And just sitting on my nose with those little clippy things if, if you know what I'm talking about I'm not making any sense 
So anyway, I thought I would go and try and not purchases to be made today just yet, but like I said, I need to go and try and go back a few times before I make a final decision. Um, I ran out of green tea, so that is a big problem in my household. I need my green tea, so I need to stop by and get that. Um, also, I was looking for, okay, this is not, this is kind of very close to my natural hair texture. And I just wanted in the new year, in the spirit of new year, new me, um, just wanted to kind of embrace my natural waves and get my hair a, a little bit of a break. So I was looking for a hair dryer um, that'll have like a cool setting. I know I'm so behind. I have a hair dryer that is maybe five years old or so. It's not bad at all. Again, like it's it's nothing's wrong with that one, but it's very basic. And I bought it for like five dollars at Kmart. So I was looking for the one that will have that cool uh, cooling function um, and also the one that has a diffuser attachment so I can embrace my waves and, and keep them like that a little bit more often. Um, also I'm looking for a, a little clothing unit for my partner because I found one in a thrift shop the other day and I bought it and he got really upset with me because he was like, where's mine? I want one as well. So I'm like, okay, fine. We'll go and buy you a brand new one. So I did my research and I know where to find it. So we're going to go for that. And the last item is also very much a first world problem. The things that I want rather than the things that I need. Well, actually, maybe it is something that I need. Because, again, on, on continuing on the hair train, um, they sell those like cool, what are they called? Like the, the hair bands. It's not really a band, but it's like it's like a microfiber towel that you put in and you wrap around your hair when you want it to dry a little bit faster and it absorbs the moisture very well and, and uh, doesn't uh, damage your hair either. So I know a shop where I might be able to find that. So I'm going to go have a look and again on top of everything else just get some fresh air and get out to the city center and go for a bit of a stroll and maybe some ice cream, some cheeky ice cream. So. Let's go, we're ready to go. on some parking in the city center which is a rarity but anyway here's the like the fringe of the CBD in Christchurch if you were wondering so all of the empty spaces like here and there as well um, used to be buildings um, and have obviously become empty after the earthquake and interesting is that all of this and this these whole street used to be empty as well but, but now look they've um, they built apartment buildings in here so I wouldn't call it affordable housing but still um, there's quite a few options in here so that's that. Alright folks we're at the mall the place of all places to be on a Saturday afternoon it started raining and the pattern that I've noticed in the last many many years that I've lived here is that as soon as it rains people rush to the mall so Probably not the best place to be on a Saturday afternoon, but hey, things need to be sorted. Christmas cards will not buy themselves, so we're here for it. And uh, what did I say about that sneaky ice cream? Still haven't had some. Um, yeah, so let's get going. Okay, people, we made it back home. Um, I've been to two malls and like three other separate shops in the last three hours or so. I'm absolutely exhausted. The Christmas uh, rush is real and I'm also starving so I'm proud to report that um, I have filled every single line on the list so ticked all the boxes but I'm starving so let's go home and get some food in this belly. Look at this cat. Look at this cat. He's waiting for me. He's cute. <laughs> Hello? Hello? 
Okay, let's go feed him. All right, you guys have to show you something. Uh, it's an absolute genius invention. I'm not sure if, again, just like always, I'm late to the party or if I've actually discovered something absolutely genius. And regardless, I did support that person who may or may not have invented it and purchased their item. So basically, it's um, this little reversible, uh, if I may add, little holder for your bowls. When you want to warm up your food, you basically stack your bowl in here and you shove it in a microwave for like two, three minutes or however long you usually warm up your food. And then you know how usually the struggle is real when you can't pick up the bowl because it's so hot, when it has like super hot food in there or the bowl itself is not good quality and warm, gets warm, really warm. Uh, well, that is exactly what it's for. I am absolutely shook by this invention and I have um, actually discovered this and purchased it at a Christmas fair in a retirement village facility. So, you know, older people who have a lot of time at their hand um, are just coming up with these genius things and it's handmade obviously and um, uh, all of the proceeds that they have uh, recovered from this Christmas fair went to the Blind Foundation. So. Good causes all around, absolutely genius invention. Highly recommend you source it for, for yourself or make it for yourself. Very important. All right, let's eat. Okay, we're home, we're fed, we're somewhat more adequate than we used to be 30 minutes ago. This is all the stuff that I bought. I don't know if you'd be interested in seeing what it is, but I need to unpack it anyway, so why not do it together? Okay, so uh, literally all of the things that I got were on my list, which is great. Apart from just a little bit more food than I also got, so a little bit of food never hurts nobody. Um, I got this sponge, the bath sponge, um, with natural bamboo. I've used some stuff from their range before, but it's um, important to remember that these need to be replaced quite regularly as well, so I got a new one. The hair turban, which I'm so excited to try, honestly. Let's actually open it up, let's see what it's about. Mm. Okay. So it looks something like this, you flip your hair, you put this side like that with a little button in the front and then you twist it, put it around and hook it into the button and then apparently it does miraculous things to you and your hair grows, uh, grows. Um, your hair dries much quicker and in a more sustainable and healthy way. Who knows, we'll find out. We got tea, people. We got green tea. Beautiful. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea right now. Um, now, this thing that I'm holding it. This is actually a natural craft paper that I got. This is like five meters. But I use it for almost literally everything that I do. So, wrapping gifts, um, sewing to create patterns. I, I did use this before, so and I ran out of my previous roll, so I got a new one. And just little home bits here. So these vacuum bags, you am sure you're familiar with these, but these are absolutely amazing. I love them. Spends nine hours. This cat, this cat, this cat walks on my laptop and just turns on the videos that he likes. Or turns off the volume, or turns off the laptop altogether sometimes. Anyway, back to vacuum bags. These are absolute jam for storage. You suck out all the air and they like decrease twice or three times in volume so it's brilliant for storing especially like heavy and bulky things like winter sweaters and coats. This is just a little storage organizer. One of these things. Um, yep, you hang it if you have that bar in your wardrobe. That's key because that's one of the things that I did not have in our previous apartment and I could not hang it. I bought it and I didn't realize we didn't hang it. Anyway, um, yeah, this is just for Dwayne to hang his stuff. And, oh, Christmas cards. Yeah, I got some Christmas cards and these are some of the postcards that I'm going to post to my friends and also a little sneaky Christmas card for my best friend who lives in Auckland so I can actually post it to her and, and actually post like a gift if I wanted to if I wanted to bring on the Christmas spirit people what have you been up to recently have you gone shopping today what have you been doing 
let me let me know uh, down in the comments below and um, I'm genuinely interested what people are up to these days like frankly wherever you are tell me where you are and how things are going with being able to go outside and, and do things relatively freely and yeah just leave me a comment if you feel like it thank you a few moments later okay ignore my previous advice that the button needs to go in the front it actually needs to be at the back over here so I have not by the way yet washed my hair <laughs> I will do that later tonight but I just wanted to check if the mechanics actually works and it's uh, it's pretty solid I have to say it stays well so hopefully good purchase Yeah. You sleepy? Yeah. Mm hmm yeah. yeah, it's raining, eh? It's raining so hard. It suddenly was all thunder and storming and yeah, it suddenly became raining and Oh well this is this is New Zealand weather for you, especially Christchurch weather. So I was just ooh did you see the lightning? And I have a massive headache. That's what usually happens when the weather changes so drastically. So we were just sewing in the meantime. I did some, um, I had some clothes to mend. <clears throat> so I fixed that and then made myself a cup of tea and, and Biscuit went for a wee nap and suddenly, literally it was sunny and, 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 and warm like 10 minutes ago and then now it's horrible. But anyway, I think we're gonna go um, for a wee nap. What do you think? Biscuits being so cute and cuddly and wanting attention. Aren't we all though? Look at him. Oh, look at him. He's so lovely. Anyway, um, I'll catch you guys later when I have to make dinner because I'm getting a little hungry so I think I'm gonna start cooking very soon. It's dinner time. Um, I have some salmon, so I thought I would bake it in the oven. So I'm gonna preheat this baby. Yes, biscuit, and you're now gonna get any. And maybe with a bit of salad and with some sort of a side on the side. Maybe grains, or I don't have any rice. Oh, I have this. Okay. Any Russian speaking people, you get this, you get this. My best friend. Uh, brought this to me because there's a there is a Russian shop in Auckland on the North Island, but as far as I'm aware, there's nothing similar on the South Island, which gives me a brilliant business idea. I would buy from my shop, but yeah, so this is basically buckwheat, and they do sell buckwheat in here, but the buckwheat that they sell is kind of underripe in my opinion I don't know this one's brown and if you make like you cook it as rice and it basically turns out very nice and um, grainy and dry and like perfect the, the buckwheat that they sell here they call it kasha which is really interesting but it does turn out very like goopy and it's never dry it's always you know sticky so there's definitely something not wrong, but there's a difference in between. So I'm gonna make this, maybe I have a little bit left, make a salad, get the salmon going in the oven, and devour it all, because I'm starving again. Why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> we actually have a lemon tree growing outside, right there, so I'm gonna be using our very own lemons with the salmon, which is very great. Okay folks, dinner is served, beauty, trying out the turban as promised, I'm going to devour this, watch something and go to sleep and I'll pick you up tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Welcome to Sunday, miraculously everyone. Um, I haven't really been doing much today, I had a friend come over and she met Biscuit for the first time and she's had a look at the house and she's moved. So we're just chilling, drinking some rosé, 
reminiscing and planning on a Christmas break to do some things together. And frankly, like I said, I haven't really been doing much. I just wanted to finalize and finish this lovely weekend with a bath so. So let's put some uh, bath bombs in there. I've already used my Etsy socks, which is great for soaking and relaxing your muscles and all the good stuff. And I had my good friend give me this lovely box of goodies. It has a bunch of different bubble, um, bubble baths and bath bombs. Like, look at this. This is fantastic. This is so beautiful. Uh, which one am I going to use? Let's see. I think I'm going to go for the pink one. Um, I'm going to probably cut it in half or even just do one third. And yeah, we have a lovely bath soap. Um, I bought this bath caddy recently as well. So on this caddy, obviously, you can put a laptop or you can grab a glass of water, your phone, watch something in the meantime, or read if you're into that. So I think that's what I'm going to do. This is the perfect finish to my weekend slash Sunday. So. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is absolutely divine and it smells so, so, so good. Let's dive in. Look at my red cheeks. I got so hot in that bath. Um, but I think just to finish off the day, uh, before going to bed, I am going to fill in these Christmas cards, the postcard. Well, not necessarily Christmas, to be fair. It's just um, a bit of a Christmas tradition, like I said, that I do with um, a couple of my friends. And should I show you the cards? I might actually be able to show you the cards, just in case. I, I, I don't think the people would watch this video before they receive the cards, but maybe they will. Who knows? But I'm, I'm going to show you the cards anyway. Okay, so we've got this one that says Aotearoa, which means New Zealand in Māori. It does say uh, which art it is, usually. So that's that. Next one is with Mount Cook. Uh, beautiful scenery, obviously not a real photo, but very much reminiscent of the actual. Then we have this beautiful um, art with native birds here that also says New Zealand. Um, let's see. These, uh, no, it doesn't say which bird it is, but anyway, it's pretty, pretty, pretty. Next one, I love this one. This one says Lake Tekapo, and Lake Tekapo does indeed look exactly like this with this little church. If you haven't, uh, if you don't trust me, I have a video on this because um, we did a little travel vlog, and we've actually been here a couple of times, so I'll put it in the cards here on this corner so you can watch. And this one is an actual photo of a tram, a Christchurch tram. And this is exactly what it says here. Yep, Christchurch tram. So, beautiful uh, photo of where I live at the moment. So, yeah, going to fill these in. All right, so I'm going to fill these in. I've got my tool on the go. Um, I think I'm going to wrap up this vlog here. Hopefully it's not too long. It probably will be with all my talking. But anyway, um, I hope you're having a, a good weekend or a weekday whenever you're watching this, wherever you are in the world. Hope you're safe and healthy and looking very much forward to wrapping up this not only a week, not only a month, but the whole year of 2020. So I hope you're well and please, if you did enjoy this vlog, if you did enjoy this type of video, please give me a like down at the bottom I would very much appreciate it and I really hope to see you in my next video bye <laughs>